Maestro Gaming presents a Wobbly Wagon Wheel production about a nomad man. That man is the Gypsy King. Okay, ladies and gents, welcome back to another Maestro Game production. And as you can see, we are not jumping straight into our first game of today's episode. That is because we have a little bit of news to check out before we get on with our games. So if I head back to the inbox, as you'll see, we have an offer for the champ. And, well, it's from Maccabi Hafai. Now, back on the other screen for a second. They are currently top of the league and, well, the entire top of the league with Tel Aviv. Now, speaking of Tel Aviv, they've also been trying to nab a player of ours. They actually came in for Moshi, I believe, who is currently sitting on our bench, as is the champ. So, Moshi, they offered about 70,000-ish, I believe. And, well, he's our permanent right back for the future. So, we're not getting rid of him. Wittenberg, of course, is on loan. He's our better right back for the moment. But Moshi, as you can see, he's been performing. He's got a 7.04 over the last five games, 6.8 to generally and he's been having a solid season so we're not getting rid of Moshi we're going to keep Moshi around for the next manager but we are definitely going to let the champ go we can't turn down a 300 grand offer for the champ especially when it could raise to 700,000 so let's have a little look at a few of these details so per league appearance 20 grand for two games so 200 grand that is over league appearances um, oh, sorry, that's per league appearance. After 10 league appearances, we get another 100 grand. So, combined, we get 300 grand over his 10 league appearances, which he should manage to get. Then another 100 grand for one international appearance and a 40% profit on his next sale. So, not too bad. Can't be too angry with that. We're not going to try renegotiate it and add any more onto it. We shall settle for what the board has managed to achieve and get rid of him hopefully we can find a suitable backup replacement if not well we'll get someone on loan i suppose so that is that uh the champ agree to cancel deal talk to the board and the board feels that the club could get some more money for the player and have decided that they will therefore be looking to cancel the proposed are you sure about that board how much is the champ worth 48 and a half grand you're the ones who accepted it, not me. And now you want to turn around and say it's not enough money. We didn't pay a penny for him. We developed him. And you don't want hundreds of thousands. Bod, I didn't sanction this transfer. You did. And now you're telling me you don't want to do this transfer. So, welcome. What would you like to discuss today? Well, I would like to discuss the fact that you might be bipolar, Chairman. Because you might have accepted an offer and then decided you don't want it. So I think the board should reconsider blocking the sale of the champ. I think the board should reconsider blocking the sale of champ. I have known to... Mm, I mean... Not quite true. Sale of champ, as I don't think he had to pay... Please just accept the deal. The board appreciates your comments after discussing this. We're pleased to announce that we agree with you. Okay, so they're back to their original decision. Hopefully they don't become bipolar again and switch up on us. Because that could be a little disheartening when that deal falls through. But we shall head towards our first game of today's episode and pray that does not happen. So let's just progress on with these messages. Come on, we are almost there. We have a scout meeting. I shall get through those 47 at some point. That point, of course, is not right now. But, you know what, whilst we are here, um, in possession, let's just go through a few of these tactical tweaks. So, we're going to play for set pieces. So we are a struggling team in trans transition, even. I can't speak today. Stay on feet is one we want to add to our tactics, and that shall do for now. So, let's get into this game. It is finally the day of our first game of today's episode as we play Hapol... I actually forgot their name. Hapol Ramat Gan. 
they of course lie 12th in the table currently hovering above the relegation zone now they they've played 20 games already jeez oh yeah there's us like six teams which haven't so there's two games today and i guess one game tomorrow yes one game tomorrow jerusalem versus tel aviv that will be a big game fifth versus second that is why it's tomorrow because it's televised in fact we are televised interesting so let's get on with today's game head on into the stadium and see what the lads have in store for us hopefully it's positive hopefully we can also get our central midfielder back from his international duty pretty soon but our team of course for today in goal is Addo in central defense Posman and Levy left hand side of defense is Zirihan I need to rename him I really do Elk on the right hand side a two and Cohen in central midfield Zion in central attacking mid on left hand side is Brandau Wittenberg on the right and Boo Boo up front now on the bench is Goran Noam it's Ka Elia the champ Moshi and Effie but of course the champ is probably not going to be around for too much longer so Mega Man what do you have to say tell the team they are expected to prove a point yes indeed assertively um we should be winning this one play your own game and win no i fully expect to keep our run of farm going win we're not going to be namby pamby about this we are telling the team we expect to win and that is what we shall do we do have a kickoff highlight though will this work in our favor 10 seconds in cohen ball over the two elk and on the right hand side sorry elk i know i got the end elk plays it into wittenberg wittenberg making a lovely run will he cross it in he does he has been fouled though i believe Yes, we are going to be AR. Eventually, he shall get there. We shall have a little sip of my coffee whilst I wait for him to finally make his journey over there. A decision has been made. And we have a penalty. Stepping up to take it is, I do not know, as I don't believe I've set this yet. Cohen! Cohen to take the penalty. Lovely penalty by Cohen. Please don't run, Cohen. We need you for the rest of the game. You have 89 more minutes to play. Please don't run. We know you're getting old. You're playing in that central midfield role. We don't want you tiring out. Lovely slotted penalty by Cohen, though. I must say, that was a beautiful finish. And we are off to a cracking start. Two minutes in, and we have already got a goal on the score sheet. Now, what's that done for us? We are sitting in ninth place still. Bit of a gap to eighth there's a four point gap and well we are creating a four point gap of our own so we are in no man's land by the looks of it if we can win today we are going to be stranded in ninth not a bad spot to be stranded i suppose but zion gets it back to a two a two now in possession once more plays it over to evandro evandro can he whip it across come on evandro no don't kick it at him kick it into the box thank you wittenberg can't keep sender down unfortunately and our wall it's not looking so good on this game i think they need to update our wall our wall is much more magnificent in reality but a two edge of the area plays it out wide can he get it across whips crossing boo boo and it's wittenberg boo boo just nods it down uma wittenberg for his second goal of the season not a bad second goal indeed boo boo just leaps up in fact boo boo probably could have scored himself but you know what he decided to play as a team player just nods it down for wittenberg and wittenberg slots it home nice team effort nobody getting greedy on us today but zion got a free kick pretty far back whips it in wittenberg with a tap in bottom corner third goal of the season assisted by zion and it does count i don't know why i thought there might be some issues it was clearly onside and we are all good so it's with Ziraha. Zoran gets it back from the throwing Zoran holding up the ball nicely can he play it across no he's just gonna play it back to our goalkeeper Addo though Addo having a nice little stroll out today we are off to a cracking start 3-0 in this first half Posman plays it over to Zoran Zoran Zirian Zirian yeah Zirian is probably the right one 
But Cohen, Cohen, the man, of course, who opened up the scoring with his penalty, plays about to Levy. Levy over the top to Wittenberg. Wittenberg, of course, our goal scorer from the previous couple. And his cross is blocked. Elks isn't, though. And Boo Boo slots his away. He finally gets an opportunity. First goal of the season, in fact. So he's very much a team player. He passed it to Wittenberg before when he could have probably scored his first goal of the season. But no. Good karma has come back for him. Slots his first goal of the season away in the bottom right corner. And it is 4-0. Now, this is getting desperate for them. Don't see them crawling back into this one, folks. We have got off to a lovely start of today's episode. Got a nice juicy transfer coming in for a guy sitting on our bench. Got a nice 4-0 lead at the moment going into the second half. And it's all looking good. Zirian gets it over to Boo Boo. Boo Boo nods it back for Zion. Now with a two. A two plays it up to Evandro. He has Zirian on the overlap. I am really going to change that guy's name because Zirian is not a name that sticks in my head. Portman nods it down though and well he's given it away. Zidane obviously without the E but he has a goal. So not bad for Fadi Zizan. Zizan. Yeah Zizan. Not Zidane. Fadi Zidane. With his sixth goal of the season, assisted by Stav Nachmani. And you know what? That is a solid finish. I will give it to Zidane. That was Zidane Zidane esque, if I must say. Lovely finish. So we have unfortunately given up a goal in this first half, but we go in at 4 1, and we can't be too disappointed with that. We've had five shots and scored four from them. They've had two and scored one. So we're both being pretty clinical with our finishes. Unfortunately for them, though, they've not had the opportunities. We've had four on target to their one on target. Three fouls to their ten. One yellow card, one yellow card, 63% possession to 37. Now, our best performer, of course, has been Wittenberg. He's carried on our brace form. He's got two goals so far and an 8.7. I need to keep him on because we need to stop this whole brace thing and get someone a hat-trick. Anyway, Fadi Zidane is of course their best performer, 8.2 and the one goal. Struggling to perform is Zirihan with a 6.7 and Modachai with a 6.3. So, the man I'm struggling to say is unfortunately struggling himself. So, Zirihan, um, we're just going to call you Ziri. And that's probably so not going to stick in my head. But you are Ziri. Ziri, our left-on-sided defender who can also play on the right. Very versatile youngster. Wait, I say, okay, he's a youngster. I was going to say, if I called him a youngster and he's like 26, not so young. Anyways, Mega Man thinks we've told him they're expected to prove a point today. And that is pretty good. Um, I said Lee, I'm pleased with how things are going. Keep it up, lads. A two is currently on a yellow card, so you know what, Elias, you need to get a run out at some point. So this seems like a rather opportune time to do it. As you can see, he has absolutely no sharpness because he's been away on injury and we've not bring him on yet. So he can come on and no am can come on for Ziri, who is... You know what, no. No, you say he's struggling. 6.7. He's not really struggling, is he? I think him being our worst performer isn't that bad. I will take a 6.7 from our worst player on the pitch. Hashifaya takes the goal kick though up to Zidane. Zidane nods one down. It is with Levy though and back to the Elk. The Elk is galloping up the pitch and plays it to Elias. Elias now with a ball over to the left hand side where Evandro is making a lovely run. Wait, you know what? I'm going to change him just to Evandro. We'll wait. We'll wait. Patience. Patience is a virtue, my friends. Evandro, lovely goal. And it is Evandro Brandau with his third goal of the season, assisted by Zion. Lovely finish by Brandau and Evandro. Evandro Brandau. So, let's get rid of Brandau. At least get rid of his last name, because apparently he likes to go by Evandro, so we'll just call him Evandro. Evandro it is. Of course, that's not going to fix itself completely in this game, but we don't mind. 
He's already got a Vandro above his head, so that works for us. They do have a corner now. Luckily for us, we've got it away. It's with Avram. Can we dispossess Avram? No. Seb gets the ball now, and they are holding possession nicely. Can we please win the ball back? No, it's ball over to top to Avram. Addo, though, with the save, and it's cleared away. Ziri with the clearance. Not bad, Ziri. So, who shall we rest up? In fact, do we need to rest anyone up? Let me just... We'll swap back to this screen for a second. We have a game in five days' time. We don't really need to rest people for the next game. So, you know what? We are going to think more about who to just keep around for this game. Wittenberg is getting a little tired. The champ. Now, do we just run the champ into the ground? We're selling him. So, you know, no. We'll let the champ get tired. Boo can come off for Effie, and that will be our only substitution. We are going to give Effie a bit of a run out. Boo Boo, of course, got his one and only goal, and now he can go rest on the bench. Boo Boo making a lovely team effort today. Unfortunately, though, Wittenberg has outshone him. We have got a few players getting complacent, which is never a good sign. Addo, Elias, and of course Effie, who has just come on the bench. I don't know why he's getting complacent. He is not trying to earn his starting spot, that is for sure. Wittenberg whips one in for Evandro, though. Terrible goalkeeping. Let's roll under him. And we've got six. Six goals, ladies and gents, in this first game. Solid effort by the team. Wittenberg with a beautiful cross to Evandro. Don't know why Hashafaya didn't save that. It was straight underneath him. Probably should have done a lot better, but we shall take it. It is a 6-1 victory here in the end. We had 12 shots to their 5, 9 on target to their 3. 4 fouls to 14, fouls to yellow cards, 3 yellow cards, 58% possession to their 42. Now the best performer has been Wittenberg. He got that brace, of course, and a 9.5. Zidane for them with one goal and an 8.3. Now struggling to form was Effie. He got a 6.7 and Haddad with a 6.2 and one mistake that led to a goal. As you can see, we had a few different milestones, but... Feel free to pause it and go through them if you wish. So, play of the match goes to Omer Wittenberg with his solid two goals and one assist. Not too bad indeed. So, Mega Man thinks she told the boys that efforts were excellent. They were indeed. Assertively and pleased with your performance. Good job, lads. Solid job. And we have managed to secure another win. That is nice to see. Six of the best. They were some pretty good goals. Elias also making his debut, which is not bad at all. He gets a nice little run out, get a bit of sharpness going, because we do have now these to play twice. Obviously, we're not playing them in today's episode twice. We're going to play the first away game, and then we shall come back for the second. But speaking of going away and coming back, I'm going to head on over to their stadium, where I will meet you, fine folks, in just a second. Okay, everyone, and welcome to the Netanya Municipal Stadium. As you can see behind me, that is the home of our second opponents of today's episode. And, well, it's a pretty nice ground, but I have some news for you. Now, the champ, he was expected to go on that massive transfer. Unfortunately, though, he did turn his contract down. Very loyal man. So, he is going to be remaining at the club, and we are going to trust in his loyalty. Now, another different transfer was Moshi. Now, Moshi, I did reject a previous offer, and well, Tel Aviv came back in for him once more. They offered 200,000, I think it was actually nearer 230,000 ish, and well, we turned it down because he is going to be the starting right midfielder here at the club when we leave. So, without further ado, I'm going to head on inside where I'll hopefully see you, fine folks, for the kickoff in just a second. Okay, so before we kick off today's game, as you might have noticed, we do have a couple of little changes to the lineup. So the changes to today's lineup are Bakar is returning in at left back. He was suspended for the previous game, of course. He is our starting left back. And also on the bench is Bin Yamin. He comes in for Moshi. Moshi doesn't have a terrible injury, he just has a three to six day little knock. Didn't want to risk him getting injured if he does come on as a sub. So Binyamin is coming in on the bench and we are going to go talk to Mega Man and see what he has to say. So Mega Man, 
we should tell the team we're expected to pick up where they left off. Um, assertively, I fully expect you to keep... Hmm, where underdogs? Passionate. We're going to be passionate underdogs. You... Yeah, suits us down to the ground. Okay, the only passion is apparently in our defence. We don't have any passion in the midfield. Don't give up. He's deep in thought, but he's not really too passionate. So we're lacking a bit of passion. Hopefully that doesn't hold us back. Of course, this really determines whether we're going to join them in that group of 8th and above or whether we're going to drop down and be part of the group that's 9th and below. And worryingly, it's looking like the 9th and below. Sorry, 10th and below. Because we are, of course, sat in that 9th place spot, stranded between these two teams. 4-point gap going up and 5-point gap currently was a 4-point gap, of course. We are playing, they are not. So a four point gap either side. We always very much slotted in between 8th and 10th. And this is very much the determining game to see which section we shall move into. Now, speaking of, Maccabi Netanya also has quite a point gap on their team above them. So even if we do manage to get out of ninth and get up into 8th, 7th place is quite a bit away also. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll just get stranded. Maybe it'll be us two battling it out for 8th and ninth, And then we have all the teams below. Hopefully, though, we can pick up a victory here today and try and get in that battle. It would be lovely to try and get in a battle to get up to 7th. I don't see us getting as high as 4. That is a bit of an ask. We're on 22.736. But it would be possible for us to at least get 7th. I think 7th is reasonable. We can push for that. They are quite a bit away, of course, 10 point gap at the moment, but 10 points. We can make 10 points up in the remaining, mm, in the remaining eight. Yes, we can do it. I have faith we can make it up there if we try. So we go into half time, and I completely skipped over the review by mistake. I clicked it to pause it as it ended the half, but very dull first half, nil nil, they had seven shots, we only had two, we really need to start doing more with the possession, five on target to our zero, four fouls to our seven, zero yellow cards, one yellow cards, 44% possession to our 56. Now their best performer there was their central defender, Hubach with a 6.8 and our best was our goalkeeper with a 6.8 and four saves held, hence why it's a nil nil. Our goalkeeper's performing, their centre back is performing and well nobody's getting any goals. So, struggling to form is Ohana. He's got 6.4, no reason for it. And Wittenberg, also 6.4, and no reason for it. So, I just went and sent them back out without the team talk. Probably not the best managerial strategy in the world, but we went with it. So, Wittenberg has gone and won the ball back. Plays it over to Cohen. Cohen to a 2. Now, with Zion, maybe the silent treatment's going to work. Maybe it's going to get into their heads. They're going to be like, the manager didn't speak to us. We can't have done enough. Wittenberg. Wittenberg, can he do anything with it? Runs through the defence. Takes a shot. It's poked away. But Evandro back post. Taps it in. And we have stolen the lead. Evandro with his fifth goal of the season. Assisted by Umer Wittenberg. And what a beautiful... No, it wasn't. It really wasn't. It was a simple tapping. Wittenberg did all the effort. He ran past his man. Took a shot. Goalkeeper couldn't handle it. And Evandro just pokes one home. Not bad efforts by Evandro to chase that one down. Addo, though, plays it out short to Levy. Levy now over to the right-hand side. Wittenberg plays it back to Elk. Elk, please don't give the ball away. Thank you. Over to Cohen now. Cohen, play it. Okay, a two. That works. Levy. Levy, nice ball over the top. Boo. Boo, boo. Why? Why did you just nod it back to the centre-back? That was terrible. But they are now in possession with Schmuel. Is that... Whatever it is. Shmueli. Shmueli. Smelly. We're just going to call him Smelly. Aviran Smelly, with his second goal of the season, has gone and equalised. And now I'm not as happy as I once was. Boo boo. Right, we have a few players struggling. Elk is having a rough game. Bakar is having a rough game. Zion's having a rough game, and so is Boo Boo. So you know what? We are going to take off Boo Boo for Effie. We are going to take off off Zion for the champ and you know what I think we just go triple sub you can push up to being a shadow striker you like to do that so 
that works in our favor. Holzman is on a yellow card now. Hmm. Ziri, can you please go on that side? And Posman, can you please not get sent off? If I ask anything of you today, Posman, it's not to get sent off. I'm going to demand more. And they are going to have a highlight by the looks of it. Before we do anything, can we please win the ball back? Please don't concede here. We've done a good job so far of being wasteful with our possession and getting away with it. Please do not let it throw away now. Away. Don't let me me. Thank you, Ziri. Heads it away. Knees cross has been averted. And we have got away with that one. A couple of players focused up after the shout. Not too bad. Thank you, Cohen and Evandro, for listening. Not so much the rest of you. I am going to tell them to show passion. How about that? That's not even. That's what they get for annoying me. I shall annoy them. And in our joint frustration, we shall prosper. Unless Posman goes and gives them the ball. That was not good. Now I really am frustrated. They have a corner. Whipped in. Back post. Lovely collection by Addo, though. Good job, Addo. I appreciate that effort. Fine. Instead of telling you... Come on. Let me go back down to demanding more. Come on. Lads. Chill out. Let me shout at you. I want to shout at you again. Please. I'll be less frustrated this time. I promise. Levy. Heads it away. Edge of the area. Dahan. We was lucky there. We have a beautiful opportunity on the edge of the area. We still not... Still cannot do another shout, but the champ, free kick. Oh, it's gone wide. The champ has not gone and saved us on this occasion. We can finally shout, but they have a throwing. 81st minute, played back to Hibach. Hibach has had a lovely game so far, as we found out at the review for half time. Ohan, blocked. Please, lads, please, just get it away. Please, I beg you, I beg you, please. Levy, no, that header was too soft. No, no. Why do we do this? Why do we do this? Ay ay ay. We won six one in the previous game and now we are losing two one. Focus up lads. I expect a better performance in the next game. We play these again at the start of the next episode. We need to go for revenge now. That is the plan for the next game. Revenge shall be the dish of the day when we return. But it is 2-1 at the end of today's game. And to be fair to them, they deserved it. They made use of their possession. They had 18 shots. We had 7. 11 on target. We only had 3. 11 fast to 11 fast though. 1 yellow card to 1 yellow card. Very even on that. Our possession. We did have more possession. Unfortunately, we just didn't do out with it. They had 45% possession to our 55. Now, Schmelly, as I'm going to call him, Mr. Smelly, he had 12 dribbles and 8.3. That's a problem. We need to stop that guy being able to run about. Just control the game. Smelly, just control us, quite frankly. Wittenberg, of course, our best former, got one assist and a 7 rating as a result. Now, struggling to form was Elk. He got 6.3 for us and for them with a 6.6 .6 in form mistakes was Yosefi. Now, there's a few different milestones. Not going to go through them because there is quite a few. Although, I am intrigued by this game's name. Retino. Retino. Of course, he's Brazilian. Retino. Where do you come from, my friend? Goey. He's from Goey. He was bought for 18 grand. I'm just a bit curious to that guy's name. I want to know where he's from. No particular reason. So, Mega Man finished to tell the boys their efforts were excellent. They didn't feel excellent. I'm sorry, Mega Man, but I'm not happy with that. And the lads know. Mega Man, you're in a world of your own. I appreciate your positivity. Your positivity might come in handy, but not at this particular moment. So, we are unfortunately one and one for today's episode and well there's now a seven point gap between us and eighth place lucky for us though we can't drop to tenth we are stuck in ninth and we still have a solid gap on 13 now arguably let's just call it 17 there's a five point gap at the moment could drop to four point gap between us and the relegation zone so we have a game to work with 
we're not completely safe, but we are not doomed either. So, I thank you all for watching today's episode. Hopefully we can get that revenge at the start of the next episode, as we are, of course, away to Netanya yet again. So, without further ado, I'm going to head on out. Have yourselves a nice day, and goodbye.